Hello everyone. No thanks, my Welcome friend. back to Droid Game Fan. This is part I'm 10 of no my idea. walkthrough of Detective Grimoire. Show it to so I'm still else. questioning this no environmentalist thanks, named Echo. Why are you carrying that around with you? I have a suspicion it may have been the murder weapon. Really? I thought Remington was attacked by something with claws, wasn't he? Why would you tell people you have the murder weapon that can just lie? What? You're not a bad detective. Well, I found the photo in Remington's office. It was ripped up, though. I think he was some kind he of... He was a lot of things. Don't lose that picture. And show it to Mr. Harper before you leave. Okay, so he knows about Remington's secret. This is the journal, correct? The one that man left here 60 years ago? You seem a little unsure of the details. Shouldn't you have read up on all this stuff? Forgive me. It's hard for me to get the image of Bucky as the lovable cartoon character out of my mind. He's just so iconic. Did you know, in 1973, he... But you're protesting... <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care. Feature. The cartoon character is just some commercial byproduct, right? Yes, yes, of course. Course. Yeah, and aren't you against that sort of stuff? I'm afraid I have no idea. Show it to somebody else. Son, I thought he'd be interested no, thanks, in the friend. boggy costume since he's a boggy fanboy. I have no idea. So I'm wondering, is this guy the father of the mysterious red-headed girl? I mean, he has red hair. The red-headed girl has red hair, so are they related? I mean, that will explain why the red-headed girl is here. You're wasting your time with that one. He seems like a good person. He even sympathizes with my cause. He agrees with your protest, but he works here, right? And he was friends with Remington. I think that was the only reason he worked here. Maybe he'll see the light now and leave the swamp behind him. Maybe everyone will. Okay, that's suspicious. I have nothing to say about them. You're asking the wrong person. You're wasting your time. <sighs> Does anyone know anyone in this swamp? I mean, Bob it's only nine people here. To protect protect is the wrong word if your suspicions were correct we could both agree he's a creature that doesn't need protecting how do you, you know he might be the murderer i think he's a wild animal and he wants to be left alone at any cost ah yes agent folder a good man you know him mm, we get on rather well and we shared a number of views on the way things were run around here. Okay, I'm starting to suspect that the murder victim. This guy so might be the killer. Right but he was the owner of Boggy's Bog. Did you know him? Not personally. To be honest, I'm quite glad about it. I mean, he knows Agent Folder, so he probably stole Agent Folder's lockpick to get into Remington's office. Okay, see so if I miss anything. Okay, protest. Blue and red flower petals are scattered on the ground. Still need some more clues here a rather prominent tree stump looming it's looks like this path leads towards the northwest corner of Bongi's bog i can't looks like there's got to be path. something I... here i missed looks like this path I... a rather prominent tree it... i'm impressed someone managed to pitch a tent here and i'm 
impressed someone would want to. Hey, you gotta sleep somewhere. Oh, so can I break it's into his tent? Funky themed padlock. He's staring into my soul. <laughs> uh, it should open if I set the right number. But I don't know the right number. It looks like a toy. It looks like some you could just easily break in there. Okay, so I can't ask him about the padlock on his tent. Why would he have a padlock on his tent? Okay, he's hiding something. It looks like this path the I A small tent has been pitched nearby. It seems the protest is living there. So I need to get into that tent. One more clue. Then I'll have all the clues. Yeah, this game has been crashing a lot lately. The developers really need to do something about that. Okay, so I guess I talked to Harper about Remington's hunting photo. But first, let's see if Officer James has anything new to say ah. try and solve every suspect's challenge topic if you're struggling don't forget to present profiles and clues to people who might be interested oh and hurry up it's cold in this boat okay so he didn't add anything new Okay, talk to Sally. So what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? I didn't have one. I think I spoke to him twice, ever. He usually seemed really busy, but more like preoccupied. Preoccupied? Like he was thinking about something else? Like something killing Boggy? Who can say? What do old men think about? What? 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 Are, are you implying that I know the answer to that? Well, how old are you? Yeah, I have a pretty good view of him from here. Anyone supporting animal rights is okay in my book. His protest used to have a bit more energy, though. He spends more time inside his tent these days. And what's he doing in there? I'm happy to say, I don't know. There might be something I can ask Echo about. Okay has never spoken to and plans to eat it okay spends more time holding spends less time holding okay so echo spends more Spends less time holding the protest sign and more time in his tent. Echo spends less time holding the protest sign and more time in his tent. I wonder if Echo can tell me what he's been doing that's more important than his protest. Okay, so I has his challenge question. I just need hers. idea what that is um it's a rifle where are you keeping all this stuff in your pockets is that one of your clues it's nice you can put it away now yeah kind of weird that he he's carrying the murder weapon around okay where's harper 
Hmm. You said you knew Remington? He and I knew each other for a long time. I came to work at his tourist attraction in the early days, when he needed help. Well, what kept you here? I know most people wouldn't want to work in a place like this. I actually like it here, so I was happy to oblige. You might like it, but I still don't see why anyone would build a tourist attraction here. Mr. Remington has his reasons. He probably had several. I don't presume to know what they all were. Even though we were friends, he had some secrets, some hobbies, that I was happy to let him keep secret. Secrets? Hobbies? Like hunting? A secret hobby? He was a man with a dream. I can tell you that much. That's Mr. Remington's old hunting rifle. He usually keeps it around. For whatever reason, he was very fond of that thing. Looks like it was fired recently. Yeah, the killer. Our killers. One of Mr. Remington's secrets. I never wanted to know the details, but his men travel the world seeking mysterious animals to hunt. They consider myths and legends to be the ultimate prey. How do you know? It's Mr. Remington's fireplace poker. This slime on the handle. It's familiar for some reason. Okay, so he might just might be in on it too. So him and Echo might be partners. It's here a lot. I think he's been putting less effort into his protests recently. Which is a shame. I think it's an admirable cause. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk, just casual conversation. He asks how business is going and what everyone likes to eat, nothing of real importance. Um, I think it's real important. He could have poisoned Remington. We have a lot of suspects on that list. Okay, so Echo knows what everybody eats, so yeah. As of right now, he's suspect number one. Okay, let's see what Waybridge has to say about him. Um, I'm not even sure who that is. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. She if doesn't leave the house. You must have crossed paths with Remington a few times. What did you think of him? That man was a threat to the swamp. We'll be better off without him. Hopefully, the curtain will fall on his little tourist attraction as well. Better off? With a killer on the loose now? There have been murderers loose in the swamp before. What are you talking about? In my time here, I've seen the swamp invaded by men. By hunters. Several times. They're relentless. What were they hunting? Wait, <laughs> Boggy, of course. Boggy? Is that why no one has seen him in 60 years? They always fell short of their ultimate goal. That just meant they came back again and again, doing more harm each time. But this area is protected by law, right? It is now, but some men have no respect for laws, of any kind. They tried to get me to leave my home here. I stood my ground. Obviously. But this whole area is a tourist attraction now. I doubt Remington would have allowed anyone to march into Boggy's Bog with a gun and start hunting down his main attraction. <laughs> yeah, she knows. Let's see. I am in a click on the leggings again. First in time. And now we got it. Now I know what the I'll write it. That was the swamps. recognize some of those men unfortunately they've hunted in the swamp before before it became a protected area before that yes and one of them after that hmm so who's the one 
You can put that away. I can't help you with it. Let's see. First thing we do, then tap the. Yeah, this is not really necessary anymore. You know what's in this stuff now, already. Just tap. Got it. Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. It's the exact same liquid again. I have a feeling all this slime is coming from a single source. Yes, I just need to find that single source. Okay, or the only reason that are covered in green powder is proof that found in the treehouse and found at the crime scene and um the fire poker belong to Boggy, have magic powers, are covered in the same swamp slime. Is proof that okay, the poker found at the crime scene and the black leggings. A fireplace poker found at the crime scene and the black leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Sally's leggings. They link her with the crime scene. I'll have to ask her about it. Okay, I have her challenge question. Okay, so I guess I go back to Sally. Let's talk to Agent Folder right quick. So, what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? We didn't really have one, and now we definitely don't have one. But look, all I can say is that he was a coward who enjoyed watering down history for his own benefit. What does that mean? It means there are some chapters of this swamp's history that he never wanted anyone to know about. Did he like you sniffing around this museum all the time? I don't think he knew, to be honest. And even if he did, there's nothing he could have done about it. He has no right to this building. He knows that. We both know that. Why not? It was part of his tourist attraction, wasn't it? Hmm. No. It wasn't. Wait, how is that? It's on his land. I've never seen that before, and I never want to see it again. I have no interest in something like that. Obviously. This is just a piece of junk they sell to tourists. It has no resemblance to the real creature. You're wasting your precious time, detective. I've never seen that before, and I never want to see it again. I have no interest in something like that. Obviously. Yes, I mean, it's just a murder weapon. So, you found it. I wonder who else knows about it. So, he knows too. Oh, yes, I know him. He occasionally asks me about the history and biology of the swamp creature. I explained to him what the real Boggy looks like and how they changed his appearance for the cartoon character. Why did he ask about that? Because some people are naturally curious. You should give it a try sometime. Or because he wanted to make a boggy costume? Yeah, that Echo guy is getting real suspicious. Okay, so this is the end of part 10. I will see you guys in part 11.
You should ask someone else. <laughs> I simply don't have time to help you with this. 